mobile games are dumb, but can you make them even dumber? You might have seen the ads for that game where you control a black hole and your entire goal is to swallow large objects until you suck the entire city just like your mom. Well, today I've decided not only to recreate this game, but make it even more stupid by replacing the brainless player with an even dumber AI that will have to learn all by itself how to chase down humans, which by the way are also controlled by AI, to suckle them, grow bigger and be able to swallow an entire city. The black hole can can only consume things that are smaller than itself, so at start that would be some stones, bushes and humans. Each item that enters the black hole will increase the hole's size and mass, allowing it to swallow larger objects such as trees and cars and eventually even buildings and entire stadiums. Smash that like and subscribe button if you can also fit an entire stadium in your black hole. As I mentioned at the beginning, the black hole will be controlled by artificial intelligence and will have to learn all these things by itself using the power of reinforcement learning. The AI will be rewarded for consuming objects and the reward will be proportional to the mass of the consumed item but it will also be punished for its existence. This reward-punishment combination will motivate the AI to come up with a strategy that allows it to swallow as much as possible to maximize the reward, while also trying to do it as fast as possible to minimize the punishment. Just like an experienced worker. I won't waste your time and explain further in detail how machine learning works, but if you want to learn more and delve deeper into the topic, you can finally do that thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis and AI. Learning with Brilliant is uniquely effective thanks to the hands-on problem solving integrated in every lesson. The courses on Brilliant consist of a perfect mix of engaging problems, competitive features and daily encouragement to keep you motivated along your journey. All content on Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers and researchers from Stanford, MIT, Microsoft, Google and more. Brilliant's newly updated programming courses will serve as a great foundation builder in coding and most importantly will teach you how to think like a programmer. Building timeless problem-solving skills, developing an intuition for computer logic as you learn to design and debug real apps, get familiar with Python and start building programs on day one. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Zuzello apps or scan the QR code on screen or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Huge thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and now let's actually start making the simulation. I first started by creating the black hole object and by creating I of course mean buying an asset from the store and importing it into my project. Next I wrote some simple script that lets me control the black hole's movement and size and by wrote I of course mean asking Copilot to write the code for me. I then imported another asset pack containing human models and if at this point you're asking yourself whether I've actually made anything myself in this project, I will kindly ask you to shut up and keep watching, smartass. You see that? I made this. Every time a human is reset, it gets assigned a random skin. You must feel really awkward now, huh? I then made a human controller that not only allows these dum-dums to move, but also spin. Get rotated, idiot. I know this might sound controversial for some and quite based for others, but spawning a few hundred humans every round by hand isn't very efficient. So I made a spawner system that does it automatically and resets all of them once the round is over so that I don't keep spawning them until my PC explodes. Oh, damn, it's been a few minutes without any mom jokes. Let me show you the swallow mechanics that I made next. Whenever the black hole collides with something that has a smaller mass than itself, it will suck it in, triggering this bouncy animation. I love the way it looks and the funniest thing is I have no clue how this works, lol. I made a script that moves the object towards the center of the black hole to simulate sucking, but I have no clue why it first jumps up like this. I assume it has something to do with the rigid body physics, but as they say in programming, if it works, don't touch it. So I moved to the last thing, creating an entire city. Yeah, yeah, I just imported another asset pack. Everyone can criticize. Anyways, since the mechanics are ready, we can finally start training the AI. 
We will first try out the static city environment, since I expected it would be easier, and then we will test out several versions of the AI humans. The start uh, didn't go too well. You can see that the average reward is actually decreasing, and the reason the best reward isn't changing is because the reward at the end of each round is a negative value, lol. It needs some time to pass until the black hole finds a small enough target to consume and to start getting a grasp of the rules and mechanics of this world, before sucking an entire stadium. About 250 rounds later, despite the size being rather small, the max reward is at least a positive value. I would love to stick for my boy here and say that the size doesn't matter, but technically, in this simulation, size is the only thing that matters. Sorry dude, not this time. We can see the AI prioritizing the nearby park, specifically focusing on sucking in the bushes and little trees. But we can also see for the first time the average reward actually increasing. Ain't that a true sign of progress? Well, guess what? We are about 600 rounds in, and the max reward is already almost 10 points. And we can see that after cleaning up the nearby park, our AI creates some core memories by doing some sucky sucky behind the gas station. Meanwhile, the average reward is also getting noticeably higher. Around episode 810, we can see some clear signs of progress with a positive average reward and a max reward of 28 points. The black hole is able to move to some bigger targets such as the nearby neighborhood. Damn, they grow so fast. First a bush in the park, then behind the gas station, and now an entire neighborhood. But we ain't have enough time for this nostalgia. I left the AI train for a few more days, and after about 98 hours of training, let's see the final result. Alright, the spawn is not the best, but ain't the worst either. The park is relatively close, and the AI will have to start there. The current targets are small trees, bushes, and little rocks. And so far you're doing a great job. Nice. Nope, I think you can't fit the benches yet. Nope, we definitely need a bigger hole for that. Luckily, there is another park right next to this one. Nope, you can't eat the car, nor the light poles, at least not yet. Oh, nice, now you can also consume larger trees, and if I ain't wrong, the benches should also be available now. Um, or I guess focus on the trees first, that's also an option. Hmm, so the AI ignored the trees right above and decided to prioritize the parks at the left edge of the map. Oh, the windmills can now be sucked in as well. I also noticed that the black hole's movement is smoother now. It is twitching way less now that it's of a decent size. Most probably it is related to the fact that now, due to the increased size, it can collide with more objects without having to shake violently in different directions. The cars ain't safe no more because our AI can now fit them in its black hole, which also means that soon it will start sucking in entire buildings. An interesting observation is the fact that the agent isn't wasting time on little structures such as trees, at least that definitely isn't a priority anymore. The moment it was able to move to larger structures, it immediately started prioritizing those, just as we can see it with the cars right now. The smaller houses are being swallowed now as well, and just as a quick reminder, the largest structure on the map is the stadium, followed by the factory, and it's just a matter of time until nothing can stop the black hole. The tall buildings are now also in danger zone. Entire neighborhoods are being sucked in and erased from the map in a matter of seconds. And here goes the factory and the stadium. Well, now nothing is safe anymore. The black hole is now unstoppable and simply scouts the map for any survivors, so I'm going to speed up this part. Okay, that was fun, but now it's time to suck on some juicy humans. <coughs> Wait. First, I made a very simple logic where the humans are only running away if the black hole is too close, and after that we'll train the humans using reinforcement learning. 
I have spawned 500 humans and honestly it is pretty funny. All the black hole wants is to have some sake action, but everybody is doing their best to avoid it like a plague. If you see yourself in this video, make sure to leave a comment so we can all collectively make fun of you. I like it when the AI is stuck in the same place, being like, bro, why is everyone avoiding me? It almost makes me feel bad for it. Well, if for some sick and twisted reason you wanted to see an AI break down and cry, I think that is the closest you can get to that. Alright, let's brighten the mood a bit, for the black hole at least. I lowered the move speed for the humans, and now they move 3 times slower, ensuring that nobody will run away from the Saki Saki. Well, it definitely looks much easier this time, doesn't it? No one gets to run away, and now I feel bad for the humans. It's like those Animal Planet documentaries where you feel bad for the animal the documentary is about, despite it being the same scene. Despite the immense success this time, the AI still broke for a good minute or so, which just shows that you can be depressed both when everything sucks and when you suck everything. Think about this, it speaks a lot about society. Anyways, about a minute later and the black hole actually got its shit together and went on another sucking spree. It didn't manage to devour all the humans, but that doesn't matter, because now it's time for the last experiment. I've trained the humans for about 48 hours, rewarding them for staying alive and punishing them for getting swallowed by the black hole. And here is the final result. I will let you enjoy the chaos with some music. Run. Huge thanks to my Patreon subscribers for supporting this content. You are the legends. If you enjoy my videos, consider joining the Patreon and Discord community, link in the description. And while you wait for the next video, check out this other project where I've simulated an AI society during a zombie apocalypse. Bye.